You ruined my entire life. You stole my parents and my boyfriend. Mike, he broke up with me and he said you're prettier. Are you saying you didn't take him from me? You're a horrible stepsister. Oh, I can't take it anymore. It is so boring being in this big mansion. Oh. Honey, of sacrifice world starts, brought you the most expensive garlic amulets, organized a bite the commoner hunt, and you're still bored? Yes, I need more exciting things, my love, don't you understand? <clears throat> well, you want more exciting things? You will get more. Oscar, come here. Uh, tell me. Do something to make my wife happy right now. Uh, can you be more specific in what you mean, sir? You must find out for yourself. If you don't do as I say, I will kill you. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I will. <sighs> make it quick. Candy, sweets and cocktails, they will not please Miss Rosie. What will I do? Please take a seat at an empty table. I will take your order as soon as possible. Uh, I don't know what to order. I don't think there's anything unusual in your cafeteria. <laughs> well, our cafeteria has everything. What you need and much more as well. <sighs> I don't think you have anything useful. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I'll write it down. Uh, no, no. Would you like to come with me? I, I'm working, so I can really go with you, right? Uh, don't worry. I'll give you the money you haven't earned in your entire life. Under one condition. Alright, which condition? I'll have to blindfold you. Um, that's certainly weird. Well, do it and let's just go quickly. Um, yes. With this, I will save my life. What? It's nothing. Come on, come on. Uh, darling, why is it taking so long? How long should I wait? <sighs> I don't know what that idiot is doing, but as soon as he gets here, I'll teach him. That's right. This is unacceptable. Uh, oh, I'm back. Oscar, why did it take you so long? I was looking for something special, as you asked for. And where is that? And why am I not seeing it? It's true. Is it invisible? Uh, here it is. Hello, what kind of costume party is this? Did you bring a victim? Do you think that's enough? Well, I'll show you. Uh, oh, what a pretty girl. Uh, Sam, uh, wait. What is going on here? Honey, what did you just say? Um, I really like this girl. Let's adopt her, I beg you. We already have a daughter. And I think she's just coming. I'm gonna run from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride I never Parents and Oscar, hello Um, who is she? Dinner? What dinner are you talking about? Just watch your mouth No, daughter, she's uh, your sister Rosie <laughs> It's not April Fool's Day for you to be making jokes it's not a joke. I want to adopt this girl, and you have to accept my decision. Adopt me? Rosie, I don't think that's right. What if she has parents? <laughs> so what? Then we can eat her. And don't you even try to ask my opinion? <laughs> of course not. She lives with us now. Uh, by the way, what's your name? Susie. Uh, perfect. Now I have two daughters. Hooray, hooray, hooray! You've definitely gone crazy! <sighs> Rosie, what have you done? Uh, well, nothing. She'll get used to it. Uh, did I do what you wanted me to do? 
Uh, yes, even better. Thank you, Oscar. What would we do without you? Well, it's getting late, and we should get ready for dinner. Well, dear Susie, now you can go meet your sister. Well, I don't understand this. Girl, I see your face everywhere. When I'm going out, you'll be there. Well, where are we? Ish? Hey, sister! Boo! Ah! Why did you scare me? It will always be like this. Or did you think you'd be welcomed by me, huh? Well, I don't understand who you are or what you want from me. <laughs> are you so stupid not to see that we are vampires? I thought you were just dressed up or something, but this, it's quite interesting. You must be crazy. You must have freaked out and run away a long time ago. Who is the crazy one here? Get out of my room now. You're bothering me. <laughs> oh, sure. My pleasure. Um, Oscar, are you sure this is the best blood? Of course, I'm sure. And I've brought you a daughter. Mm, yes, she's a beautiful girl. Rosie, my love, why don't we just drink every last drop of her blood? Sam, that's completely out of the question. She's our daughter now. Even if you don't want to accept it yet. Oh, I think here comes your new daughter. A uh, Susie, honey, sit down, come eat. Um, but there's no food. There are only glasses of cherry juice. It's not cherry juice. Honey, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot that you're not like us. Oops, that was awkward. Well, I guess I'll stay hungry tonight. I've been dreaming all night, bringing me some spirit. Oh, well, white looks better on you than black. Uh, daughter, what's wrong with you? Why are you dressed in white? Nothing. I'm in mourning. That's why I look like this. <sighs> and I'm in mourning because a mortal now lives with us. Hey, Amanda, don't talk about your sister like that. It's actually really rude. She is telling the truth. You see it? My father agrees. Oh, you're always so mean. You never support me at all. You don't need me. Oh, as usual, my mother's performance begins. Well, very well. You have to accept that I want Susie to be part of our family. And by the way, I already registered her at school. She will be in the same class as you, Amanda. What? <laughs> oh, it's about to be late. Mom, I don't want to study at the same school as that mortal. Haven't you seen what she looks like? I don't want to be that crazy girl's classmate either. You know what I mean? What did you say? You'll see what am I capable of. <sighs> ah, come on! Let Everybody go. be quiet now. <laughs> I haven't seen him like this in a while. Tomorrow you're both going to school. Because the most important thing for me is that my wife is happy. <sighs> well, finally. Uh, well, Susie, now you have to get changed and dress much better. <laughs> you can't dress that way for the elite school you're going to, understand? Hey, what's wrong with my clothes? Uh, well, uh, Oscar, he will take you to the best store in the whole country. And also, he will help you choose the best outfit. Oh, and why should it be me? Let Amanda help her. Oh no, I won't be a part of this. You can deal with your servant. <sighs> what a difficult age. <sighs> Uh, I was saying, Oscar has your dad's unlimited card. You can buy anything you want. <sighs> okay. All right, pick whatever you want. Whoa. Don't take too long. I don't want to be here all day. Everything here is so beautiful and expensive. I can't decide. 
<laughs> Very good. Your first time shopping? Well, yeah, I have bought things in secondhand stores, but it doesn't look like this. That definitely makes it worth it. Listen, Oscar, are you something like my parents' servant? Well, yeah. Well, what's the matter? And what do you want? And tell me, could I possibly ask you something as their daughter? Oh, no, I already told you. Don't do that. What if I tell them everything? <laughs> Look at her. She's very clever. Well, you're one to talk. You're picking up a stranger at the cafeteria. <laughs> well, what do you want? Tell me now. Will you help me choose a cute outfit here? <sighs> It'll be fine. Hooray! Thank you so much. You're a waterfall, I'm a fire. No surprise, we don't come together. But it took us a while before we figured it out. What a shame. Tired. Mm. No. Um, you don't like anything. What about this one? I don't know. It seems quite common to me. Let's just keep looking. You see? This one's cute. Well, yeah, Oscar, you were right. Well, you look good. I'll take you to school. I came to the party. Come on, come on. Good, good. Run, run. Good morning. Hey, are you watching football? It's a game for fools. I've told you before. <laughs> Don't be angry. I won't do it anymore. I promise you. I was watching it by chance. Yeah, sure. That's your favorite team. Uh, yeah, forget it. Just tell me, why are you in such a bad mood? Did something happen to Actually, you? Actually, yes. There's a new member in my family. Oh, whoa. Excellent. That's great. There is absolutely nothing good about it. I'm stuck in this situation. Uh, I'm not understanding why. My mother was bored and made my father find her something interesting. That's not quite a good start for your story. My dad said our employee, and do you know what he did? Well... He brought home a poor girl who is skinny and pathetic. Oh, how horrible. Well, yeah, I wouldn't be happy if I were you. Do you know what's really bad? My crazy mother signed her up here at this school. Are you serious? It's a joke. No, it's not a joke. This seems like a horrible nightmare. Mm, I can't even imagine it. Oh, I am living it. Poor thing, calm down, everything will be fine. Oh my, you're the only one who ever understood me, thank you. It's nothing, I love you. Me too. Oh, come on, I hope that poor girl doesn't show up. I agree with you. Thanks for your help, Oscar. I don't know what I would have done without you. Well, I'm a former stylist, so it was fun for me. You like it, right? Yeah, I love it, but it's time to go to class now. Yes, and here's your ticket for the next two years. Mm, this is new. This school is not for poor people. It is the most elite school in town. Well, wish me luck. I'm leaving. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Take that, Stella, for not letting me cheat. Uh, I will do it again. <laughs> oh, how fun! <laughs> Mike, let's go both against them. <laughs> it's my favorite game. <laughs> hey, it's not fair. Stella, fight back. <laughs> <laughs> and who is that? A new girl? Wow. Hello, everyone. My name is Susie. I'm new here. I'm Amanda's sister. Nice to meet you. Susie? 
Oh, no. Hey, why are you looking at her like that? Do you even like her? Hey, Amanda, what's wrong with you? What are you talking about? I don't. It seems that this can just get worse. Yes, I think so. Silly poor girl. Why did you have to say you're my sister? Hey, what's wrong? I'm ashamed to be by your side, and you've told everyone. Hey, Amanda, what's wrong with you? Well, I didn't know I couldn't tell them. I'm really sorry. Don't worry. She didn't do it to hurt. She didn't do anything wrong. Uh, yes. Well, you'll see. <laughs> oh, yeah, I better go. That's weird. Is she usually this grumpy? Well, when you got into class, she got mad. I'm sorry for her behavior. She has a difficult character. Okay. I think she got really mad at me. Uh, Amanda, wait! And there he goes running after her. Mm -hmm. It's so much fun to watch all this. Yeah, love is magical. What can we do? He's nuts about her just by looking at her. Who the hell is she? Poor fool. I wish I could leave her without a drop of blood. <sighs> hey, honey, what's up? Why are you so angry? Oh, here you are. What do you want to go back there and look at your Susie? What are you talking about, Amanda? Which Susie? I love you. You had to see the way you looked at her. And now you're telling me that you love only me? But if you... I'll give you some advice. Think before doing anything. I'm sorry, Amanda. I didn't mean to hurt you. Please forgive me. No, I won't do it. <sighs> Actually, you know what? Leave me alone. I need it right now. Oh, yeah. I will. I understand, honey. That's great. What's the matter? I don't understand. Oh, uh, hello. You're Mike, right? Hmm. Well, yes. I'm Susie. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> She's very nice. I didn't imagine her like that. Hey, Mike, you can show me the schoolyard. I'm, I'm new and it's boring to see everything by myself. Well, I promised Amanda I wouldn't talk to you. So what? She won't know anything. <laughs> you are clever. Well, yeah, I am. Mm, okay, let's go, as long as Amanda doesn't find out. Okay, let's do it. Uh, let's start with the garden. <laughs> so, I'm gonna show you the... Well, honey, how are you feeling? Are you still bored? <laughs> no, no, now with Susie, life feels so much better than before. She's so beautiful. Mm, I'm very happy, Oscar. Mm, yeah, Mr. Sam, what can I offer you? I want you to bring fresh blood for us. No problem, I'll be right back. Sam, I want to thank you. Now I feel very happy. I will do everything I can to make you happy, love. Uh, listen, why don't we do something nice for Susie? And what about Amanda? What about Amanda? She always has everything. It's enough. If that's what you think, that's fine. Here you have your blood, the best. Thanks, Oscar. I think I should buy her something technological, the newest thing. All right. Oscar, did you hear her? Mm, yeah, but I'm not sure what she likes. Make it something interesting, like an iPhone or something. Uh, as long as my new daughter likes it. I have it. It will be ready soon. Our employee is so good. That's right. I don't know how he finds everything we ask for. That's awesome. Uh-huh. They're so annoying. Get this, get that. And what did they do? Nothing. Nothing. Mom, Dad, hello. Hello, daughter. It seems like she's very angry today. Uh, don't pay attention to her. Hello. Oh, uh, well, uh, where are my parents? Oh, you're back, daughter. Yeah, and it's been a nice day. How are you guys? Great. And tell me, what did you do today? Mm, 
Well, Oscar and I went shopping. I went to school, I met up with the kids, and then after school, I went for a walk. Oh, excellent. And we bought you a gift. Oh, wow. Really? Nobody ever gave me a gift. We will be first. Sam, where is it? One second. Hello, Oscar. Hey, where's the gift? I'm near. Okay, hurry up. What's happening? Wait a second. Mm, I wonder what's going to happen. Here I am. Here you have Susie from your parents. What? That's lovely. Uh, do you like it? I love it. I've never had anything like this. What a great reaction to the gift. Thank you very much. Thank you for this. You're welcome, honey. We love you so much. Me too. All right, I'll play with this. <laughs> Enjoy. I had a terrible day. I don't know what else has to happen to make it even worse. <sighs> the gift of my dreams. I don't understand. What do you have there? It's a new computer. <laughs> Where did you steal it from, poor girl? I didn't steal it. This was a gift from my parents. What are you saying? Yeah, yeah. As you heard, they're lazy enough to give anything to me, but this stupid mortal gets one. Um, don't be jealous. By the way, your school has such a nice garden. I've never seen anything like it. Well, yes, it's very nice. Wait, um, how did you get there? Um, how can I tell you this? I guess you stole my classmates. Well, no, because Mike decided to show me the garden. Are you out of your mind? What is wrong with that? Hey, what are you doing? Nothing's happening. I haven't done anything wrong. That's it, girl. You have tired me out. Now I'm going to teach you. Oh, hey, what are you going to do? I'll ask my parents to kick you out. Um, we'll try it. You'll see. I don't think our parents are going to do what she just said. Parents! This is going really too far! Amanda, what's the matter? Why are you screaming? Why she can have it all, but I can't! What is it? She first takes my parents away from me, and then she takes my boyfriend. I'm not getting it. Who takes what from you? Your new daughter. Oh, come on, don't overreact. She hasn't taken anything from you. Yeah, yeah, you're paranoid. In that case, I'll show her what a house with vampires is like. Don't do anything to her. You cannot commend me. Oh, these children. What do you think we're going to see today in class? It must be boring, surely, uh, like on, every honey. day. Only see boring doing? things that we don't, don't understand. Talk and to you. also, day Amanda is in a very bad mood. It's true. How strange. Hey, Amanda, what's wrong? Are you still angry about yesterday? No, you did something wrong. Now think about it. Uh, what are you talking about? How can I understand your childish logic? <laughs> yeah, honestly, it's like a drama movie. It's true, my friend. With these two, it's always a big drama. But Amanda, what's wrong with you? Forget all that. I haven't seen you since yesterday. Uh -huh. You don't care, and I know who you hang out with. <sighs> Hello to all of you. Oh, Susie, how are you doing? How are you liking school? Of course. I've never seen such a beautiful school. It's amazing. I'm glad. I'm glad. Well, shall I show you what we're missing? Okay. Losers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello, Amanda. What are you doing here? Nothing. What do you care? 
I don't know. I worry about you. Hey, stop making a fool of yourself. Do you think I haven't seen the way you treat Susie? I didn't do anything wrong. We were just talking. You make a fool of me. I heard it all. And I also know you hang out with her. Mike, you know the garden is my favorite place. How could you bring that idiot there? But Amanda, please. Michael, I don't want to hear from you after everything you have done. But tell me, how can I apologize? I do not know yet. <sighs> You've heard me enough. I don't know if I can forgive you, Michael. Great, Amanda. Now listen to me. What did you come up with now? Since you said you won't forgive me and you won't go out with me, well, I... Are you going to ignore me and not bring me more candy? You and I are done. Susie is a good girl and prettier than you. What? What have you said? What you just heard? I'm sick of your claims and insults. Well, get out of here. I should have done this sooner. <laughs> but what do you want? What do you want? Hey, Amanda, what's up? Just calm down. You ruined my entire life. You stole my parents and my boyfriend. What does that have to do with me? I didn't do it. It's not my fault. Mike broke up with me and said you're prettier. You say you didn't take him away from me? It's his decision. It's not mine. This is my fault. You're a horrible stepsister. Calm down. It doesn't have to do with me, you know? My parents pay more attention to you and love you more. And no one loves me anymore thanks to you. And what else are you going to take from me? You do not love me. Why do you think that? I do love you. Nobody loves me anymore. <laughs> Honey, I have to talk to you seriously. Yes, I hear you, honey. We have a very serious decision to make. Oh, wow, this is interesting. What decision? Don't you think Amanda's being very rude lately? Well, yeah, I noticed a long time ago. Uh, do you think maybe we should ground her? Uh, no, honey, it's worse. Oh, wow, and what could be worse than that? I think it's time to kick her out. Uh, honey, are you sure about that? Well, I've thought about it a lot, and I think it's the best thing for us and Susie. This is really sweet. You care about our adopted daughter. What do you think? Uh, I think we're going to regret it, but okay. Stupid parents, I hate them. They will realize who they lost, and they will regret it. Hey, Susie! Oh, Mike, is that you? I've missed you so much. Of course. How could I not come with a hottie like you? I love you, Mike. I love you, too. You're so sweet. I feel very happy. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Susie, daughter, I have a great gift for you. It's a gift from me. Oh, wow. What is it? Is it for me? Uh, Susie, don't you want to be like us? Honestly, I've been thinking about it, and yeah, of course I want to. Uh, well, welcome to the vampire world. <sighs> when will my Prince Charming show up? Another day alone without being saved. <sighs> when will my Prince come to save me? We've been waiting so long for this special moment. I think it's finally time to go hunting. I think I hear her innocent voice. I can smell her right now. And I can listen to her heart. The, the hunt, hunt is starting, starting now. now. Stop. Stop. 
Mother, father, what are you doing? We want to participate. She's an actual real princess. No. no. Yeah, I will turn her into a vampire. And I'll be the real princess. No, it won't no, be me. No, it won't it be, will be me. me. Come on, Don't just it will be me. me. I'll be so. We will go hunting without you. Wait for us at home. But mom! Dad! No, this, this is, is all, all your fault! fault. Come, Come on, it's it all about you! Know. Someone is coming! It must be my dear prince! Well, finally! Yes! That she's a real princess! But all I wanted to do is kissing her! No, you wanted to turn the princess into a vampire. But not yet, she must want it for herself, right, Princess Violetta? What? You're not a prince? <laughs> Violetta. Violetta! They've ruined everything! So, something new to tell? What should we tell you, Ethan? All good with me and my sister, thank you for asking. Well, then tell me, what about the princess? Thank you for asking. What? Who on earth told you that? Your brother, Max, was bragging about your parents adopting a real princess. Well done, Max. Mom and Dad specially asked him to keep it a secret and he goes and tells everything to the whole world. I still don't get it. I don't understand why your parents would want to adopt a mortal girl. So then, is she cool? Just wait. Why would she be interested in someone like you? Just look at me. Wouldn't it work? I look like a handsome prince. <laughs> <laughs> You're a vampire, Ethan. What prince are you talking about? The best one there is. You'll see Violetta will fall in love with me. Yeah. I do not like this. Me neither. We have to stop our parents. I think we're too late. She's already in our house. <gasps> All right, you like it here? Welcome to our dear house. Mm, you'll get used to it. You will feel at home very soon. <sighs> this must be a bad dream. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I'm a monster, sis? What did you say? How could we be sisters? You are really crazy! Half sisters, but just for now. But when we finally taste your fresh blood, we're going to become blood sisters. <laughs> you... you are all crazy! Wait! It's useless to run now! Calm down, girls. But she's going to escape! Violetta's not going anywhere. I can assure you that. Dad! Tell me, why do I have the feeling that Violetta's going to cause a lot of trouble? This is not going to happen. Daughters, I am sure that Violetta will adapt to school quickly and she will be a part of the family. Mm -hmm. She will adapt quickly, don't you worry. She will cause trouble. A lot of trouble. Oh, this family is too crazy. I wish they would have left me alone in my castle. So you don't really like being in this house? <gasps> you! Yeah! You were the one I mistook for a real prince. Because of you, I am in this horrible house. Um, Max, and I'm really glad you remember me. And who the heck are you? Me, your brother. And now we are actually family. A family of vampires. <sighs> okay, enough. I'm tired of this. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Oh, you silly girl. You will never be able to leave now. <sighs> uh, let me go. Why are you in such a hurry? Where are you going, little sister? It's not your business. Maybe you should try to be nicer to us. See you later, sister. See you never. Well, what was that about? Is she leaving? Are we going to let her do that? Yeah, Sophie. It's her big chance. We'll say that Max screwed up again, like always. Yeah, it's a great plan, sis. We'll get her out of this house very soon. 
I'll never set foot in that house again. Hello. Ah! Does your highness need help with something? Oh, God, how handsome. Oh, it's a real pleasure. <sighs> it's nice to meet you. What are you doing here by yourself? Uh, are you a real prince? Way better. I'm your destiny. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> Do you live in that house? The truth is that I was leaving. What? So we're not seeing each other again? Well... Oh, you guys already met? Uh, do you know each other? Yeah, he's my best friend. Um, Ethan, so then, will I see you again? Hmm, yeah, because I live in that house. I'm Max's new sister. got rid of her. What an annoying girl. No more silly princesses in a vampire house. No more silly princesses in our house. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, was that Violetta? Yes, Violetta, you have done the right thing. You should stay in this house for that handsome prince. What? For a prince? Who is she talking about? It sounds like she met someone. I'll find out who it is and destroy him. Wait, are you saying that Violetta doesn't know what you are yet? Yes, the princess hasn't seen my eyes. She thinks I'm a prince. That's what I told her. <laughs> You're not a prince. If I could marry to a princess, I'll become a prince. You'll see. <laughs> You're gonna have to become her boyfriend with the glasses on. And Violetta will notice it. She will see your eyes and it will be the end of the story. She will still love me, even as a vampire. You'll see, Ethan. Are you actually in love with her? Me? Of course not. I think I've fallen in love. Ah! What are you doing? This is also our house, did you know? We clearly heard her daughter say that she's in love. You can't spy on me like that. And I'm not your daughter. You'll get used to it, to this house, to us. And then you'll want to become a vampire. You'll see. Me? I will never. I will never. You? I don't get it. Violetta was so sure about leaving the house. Why did she come back? This doesn't even make sense. Why don't you get Somebody made her change her mind. We have to find out who it is. Listen, dear sister. Why don't we hypnotize her? We can force the princess to leave our house. Hypnotize her? You know, it is completely forbidden to hypnotize royalty. All right. That's why she's so special to her parents and why they wanted to adopt a princess. Well, that is so annoying. Okay, let the world be thankful we're not going hunting just yet. Of course, we should remember this moment. Of course, and since we haven't eaten or gone hunting yet, we could settle for a few cocktails. Listen, Ethan, why are you always wearing those glasses? The truth is that it's a bit strange. Uh, it's a favorite accessory. You see, you wear gloves all the time, and I wear glasses. It's still a bit strange. By the way, are you feeling all right? Well, yes. Uh, what do you ask? I think that you are too pale. You better eat something. Um, no, no, thank you. I'm on a diet. Oh, wow. I see that you're having a drink. Let me taste it. No, Violetta, you can always do whatever you want. It's just that I'm very curious about you. Yeah? Perhaps you like me? Mm, yeah, I like you. Our feelings correspond, young lady. What? You two know each other? Since when are you friends? Hello again, sisters. Hello, girls. Your sister is great, and I couldn't help but fall in love with her. Violetta? It's time to go. What are you doing? I still haven't finished talking to Ethan. It doesn't matter. Mom and Dad are waiting for us, so let's go. Goodbye. <sighs> I'm really glad I met her. Beautiful new dresses for our dear lovely daughters. And me? You won't give anything to your son? Max, don't worry. You are my favorite vampire, son. Ah, uh, well, I believe you. So tell me, how are you doing, parents? Amazing. We're organizing a new room for our beautiful daughters. Yes, 
Our girls deserve only the best. Of course. But your dear girls are gonna tear this place apart, you'll see. <laughs> and why is that? They hate each other. They can't stand themselves. What, what do, do you, you mean? mean? It's obvious. Have you actually seen my sisters really excited with that princess you decided to bring into her house? Max, why do you make all that up? All the Dutchers are already like best friends. <laughs> or maybe you are jealous. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, well, they're fools. They can notice those problems without their vampire stuff in their hands. Go and sit. We seriously have to talk to you. What do you want from me, crazy freaks? We'll talk now, girl. Are you Ethan's friend? He's the reason you stayed, right? You have to leave this place right now. What do you think you are doing? What do you think we're doing, you foolish girl? You just showed up in our lives. Stealing the most handsome boy in the city of vampires. Stop, stop, stop. I think you are confused. I was just quietly waiting for my dear prince. You broke into my life with your silly brother and your parents. But what are you even complaining about? You have the chance to become a real vampire. To live forever, be fast, pretty, and strong. So you really wouldn't want that gift? You're such a fool. So you think that I am a fool? I will never become a vampire. Then just get out of here. And it better be right now. We, we don't, don't want, want you here. here. What is happening here? And I thought they were already friends. Your daughter said awful things to me. I think they are snakes and not vampires. Susie, Sophie, we're going to have a long serious talk. We will talk right now. <laughs> Good luck. Too bad you almost got what you wanted. Parasite. You wish that, but no. <laughs> My daughter sounds so disappointed. You will be grounded. I hope this doesn't happen again. How annoying is it that they always protect that girl, Violetta? They should get rid of that princess so she stops bothering us. Oh, by the way, I have a date with Ethan later. Bye-bye. Oh, you? Don't worry, Susie. We'll figure it out very soon. She's going to be truly sorry that she came into our lives. Oh, that was really kind of scary. It was about time their parents showed up. Now I know. Vampires are dangerous. It's good there's still people in this town. Hello, I've been waiting for you. Hello, I missed you so much. Listen to me. If I find out that the princess has left home because of you, I'll take away your rings. What? Mom, it's our protection. Without them, we can't go in the sun. And how will we lead a normal life without leaving the house? That's right, your mom knows how to come up with great punishments. Thank you, my darling. <laughs> and even I am a little scared of her. Alright, mom, this is going to be the last time. We won't do any harm to our new sister. What? And we'll be very good friends, right, Susie? Yeah. What do you think? I knew they would listen to us. What's going on here? I have to go now. Me too, actually. Tell me what is actually going on here. Hmm. Let's just say we already find out that the girls didn't treat your new sister very well. Oh, I already told you before that they really hated that poor princess. Oh, but that's in the past because we already solved it with the girls. <sighs> hmm. They're so naive. The princess is so annoying! Come on, Susie, calm down. She looks like a princess, but she's a dumb fool. Oh, Susie, I beg you to please stop destroying our room right now. Oh, we'll have to rebuild it from scratch if you keep doing this. Well, tell me, what for, sister? Only to make our parents happy? Just to make our parents believe that we like Violetta. That way, they'll just let us live our lives normally. Sophie, you're a genius. Well, I guess in this way my parents won't bother me, since I don't treat Violetta bad. Tell us now, Max, how are you making Violetta feel comfortable in our home? Well, actually, I introduced her to Ethan. Who is Ethan? Yes, Sam, Ethan is a vampire, a friend of our son. 
No, Violetta has someone to go out with. Max, Ethan is a vampire. Yes, so are we. Everyone in town is a vampire. Tell me he doesn't want to bite our dear Violetta. Uh, of course not. It's not like he's an animal or something like that. Ethan hides from Violetta that he's a vampire. Why is that? Violetta truly hates being like us. Okay. If Ethan is hiding his true nature, then I won't worry about Violetta. Then everything is fine. What do you care so much? You actually want to turn her right? You don't understand. Royal blood is very dangerous for a vampire. If a vampire bites a princess without permission, the vampire is cool. And that's why we're waiting for Violetta to decide if she wants to become a vampire. I hope you understand, son. It's strange. I never heard of a cursed vampire. And then all the little kids ran to my castle to see if I was the royal princess or not. Yeah, you had a crazy life. What did they lock you up in that castle? My parents told me that it's a family tradition. Dad found mom, grandpa found grandma, and so on. Look at that. But your story was actually different. You were taken in by vampires. Yeah, it's nice to know normal people in this town. By the way, Ethan, tell me more about yourself. Well, there's nothing to tell. I'm a pretty ordinary guy. <sighs> oh, Ethan, tell me about you. I've got nothing to see. But I want to know, what did you do those years waiting for your prince? All we do is talk about my life. I just want to know more about you. This is not actually fair at all. Why don't you tell me anything? I prefer to talk about you. Okay, enough. This is over. You're acting really strange. Oh, oh my god, this heals. Ow, I think I hurt myself. Violetta. Ethan? Ethan? <sighs> What on earth just happened? Yeah! Oh no! Mom and Dad are gonna find out I'm eating normal food! Um, hello, are you busy? Oh, it's you. Yeah, come inside, something happened? Um, no. You look really worried. My sisters are bothering you again? I just wanted to talk to you from sister to brother. Oh, whoa. Oh. That's totally new. Well, go ahead. Listen, Max, I'm interested in the whole vampire thing. I can't believe it. Have you decided to become one? Mom and Dad thought it would take at least a year to make that decision. That's not what I'm asking. How are vampires different from humans? Well, just look at my appearance. Have you noticed my eyes? Yeah, they are red. And your skin? Well, yeah, it's a little pale. I have to put on a soft tanner to change my skin tone at least a little to go unnoticed by human beings. Red eyes and pale skin. And what else? Well, we are very strong and also immortal. Yeah, I already know that. Well, another weakness we have is the sun. If we go out without a protective ring during the day, the sunlight can actually burn us alive. Interesting. That would actually explain why he always wears glasses. He has red eyes, sunlight weakness, and pale skin. Hey! Where are you going? <sighs> yes, Ethan? What? Did Violetta see your eyes? Hey, bro, I think I've messed it up. Susie, get ready. Everything is planned. Have you figured out how we're going to get that spoiled princess out of our house? Otherwise, she will never leave this place. Yeah, I have an idea. And it will work out. You'll see. Well, I definitely like that. What is your idea? Our kind have always been against witches because they're mortal and too dangerous for us. Exactly. Witches know everything, even what we don't know. That's right. Witches know everything in the world. Even about princesses, they would know what to do with her. Oh no, don't tell me you decided to go see a witch. Yes, I even got the address. No, Sophie, you're insane. It could be really dangerous. But this is worth it. Think about it, Violetta took Ethan and our parents. Haven't you seen our closet? Soon it will become the house of a princess and we will be totally forgotten. What do you want to learn about the witch? How to hypnotize a princess. Mm. Let's find out the answer and we'll make that spoiled princess leave our house. We'll never see Violetta again. I really hope the witch will help us. 
I can't believe it. How could you do that? You've ruined my entire plan. Hey, dude, don't start blaming me now. You are the one who chose to lie to Violetta. Yes, she fell, and I smelled her blood. No one was happy, not even me. You see, it wasn't my fault. But you told her everything. You told her all about vampires. I mean, about me. Listen, this silly idea was yours to begin with, so forget about Violetta. I don't want to do that. Start dating another vampire. You don't need a human being. Even less a princess. You don't understand. Violetta is different. Oh, really? You actually said you weren't in love with her. That's how it was, but things have changed. She likes me, and I like her. Oh, Violetta! What about Violetta? Shut up! Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Oh my god. After all this, she wants to see you? <sighs> yes! I truly hope it's not a trap, my dear friend. Violetta! Ethan, I'm here. <laughs> Violetta, I decided to tell you myself. Please don't be afraid. I know, Ethan. I've realized it. A normal guy doesn't wear sunglasses to every date he goes to. I was going to tell you the truth, but I was afraid that you would not understand and run away. You know, it would have been like that before, but things have changed. I don't know why, but every day I like you even more. Our feelings are mutual. Max? Max? Uh, mom, Dad, honestly, I didn't see you there. What were you? Tell us, son. And why is the house empty? Um, the girls should be outside somewhere. I don't know. Uh, we're suspecting that your sisters are conspiring against the princess. <sighs> is Violetta with Ethan now? Oh, oh, come on, you're imagining it. You are the older brother, and you don't even know where your family is? Max, we are family. We must stay together and support each other. Uh, I know, that's why I'm going to look for the girls right now. Of course, I don't know where they are. They're probably doing something foolish again. What just happened? Why can't we go any further? Hey, you, let us in now! Hmm, new guests. Let us in. Hmm. What do you want? We have come for your help. Hmm. What do you need, young vampire girls? What? How do you know we're vampires? <laughs> do you actually think some silly glasses would hide that? Of course it doesn't work on me. Are you wondering how to force the princess to leave this town? You really are a witch. All right, then. I'm glad to know that we don't have to explain anything. Well, we just want information. Just tell us how we can hypnotize a princess. You will receive a very generous reward. All right. I believe the time has finally arrived and I will use the black magic book. I told you it wasn't dangerous. Yeah, as long as she doesn't blow our heads up right now. <laughs> Violetta, are you really ready? Have you thought about it? That's why I am here. I made my decision. You should think carefully before taking this big step. Vampires are not only strong and immortal. There are also disadvantages. I'm ready to be a vampire, Ethan. And I want you to turn me. I'm ready for you to do it. This is going to hurt. <sighs> there she is. It's time. Come on, take that magic thing. I hope the witch didn't trick us. Now wake up, princess. What are you doing? Trying to get you to leave this house forever. Hmm. You are going to leave this house and forget everything. You will not remember anything you did here, and you will never return. Sophie, wait! Look at her eyes! Stop! You foolish girls! <sighs> what just happened? Did Max do it? Here I am. Oh boy. 
You took quite a hit, girls. Why didn't anyone tell us earlier that Violetta had already been turned into a vampire? Who was the one who did it? Don't look at me. It wasn't my fault. Neither did we. Max, Violetta went out with Ethan today. Yeah. I think we have to go hunting again. <sighs> hmm. Hello. What happened to him? He doesn't look like a vampire. He still is, but he's hypnotized. So, do you want me to finish off the vampires? Good idea, Ethan. And now that I am a vampire, it will be so easy to destroy them all. <sighs> Run, Run away! away. <sighs> and there you're going to arrive in three, two, one. Now the whole family is here. Welcome, my dear family of pure vampires. Not for much longer. We need your help right now. My vampire friend was turned into a slave. All because of that princess. No vampire can really stop her. Don't you worry, I know what to do. There is a solution for you. To become human. What? To become humans? Being a vampire is the best. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm sorry to tell you, my dear old vampires. It will be too late for all of you. What's going on? Why can't we pass? Which let us in now? Hmm, you have to make a decision quickly. Time is running out. So now, drink the elixir. What do you think? I don't trust her. We have no choice. Mother, don't do it! We'll think of something else. This is not fair at all. Well, it's now or never. For many millennia, they will stop being vampires. Starting today, and nothing can reverse this spell. Right now and forever, this pure and old family of vampires will become human. It's the end of the vampire clan! Leave us out of this! We didn't do anything to you! <laughs> oh, I forgot about you, my foolish little favorite vampires. I will hypnotize you now. <sighs> Slip tight. My work is now done. <gasps> no! Yes, I already knew pretending to be a witch was going to work. The life of a vampire slayer is now over. <laughs> yes, this is the millionaire's house. It will be a lot of fun to be here this summer. Oh, it will be amazing. Woo! Violetta, are you sure we should do this? Our own daughter will fall into the hands of that strange girl. Yes, I'm going to have fun while the owners are gone. I will throw an amazing party. Woohoo! Well, that's what this foolish girl thinks for now. Woohoo! I want to party! Oh! <gasps> Who are you? We are your worst nightmare, my dear girl. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know, but that sound came from Sophie's house. She's very strange. Let's go somewhere else, my friend. Mommy, this is serious. Shh. Sophie, don't distract your mother at work! I just woke up and I already have food all over my hair. Can you stop being weird right now? Sophie, don't move while I summon something. Enough! Go away! Mom, what are you doing? It's time for you to go to school! Go! Why school? It's almost night. Well, then go for a walk. I have something important to do. It's time for my special session. Uh, no, my mom's not that crazy. She just thinks that 16 years ago some vampires gave her a baby and supposedly that's me. Um, uh, whatever, it's all a lie. Vampires will return to our city very soon. 
Max, I'm worried about our little girl. Why did we give our daughter to that woman? Oh, my head hurts from talking to the spirit so much! Oh. Yes, she's strange. But in the end, she's kind-hearted. I don't know if she's a good person, but she has serious problems in her head. Uh, Mom, Dad, calm down, it's us! Do we always have to show our fangs? What are you doing here, children? Were you following us? What were you doing in front of that girl's house? None of this is your business. Ah, great. And then we're the weirdos in the family. Come on, quick, and join us. We want to watch this with you, Ethan. She's almost here. All right, are you guys ready to prank that dumb loser? Yes, we're all ready. I will record everything and upload it online. Come on, bro. Our subscribers already want to have a good laugh. Sophie's going to be the biggest star on the internet. Let's, <laughs> Let's go! go! <clears throat> oh, another boring day in my unfortunate life inside the same horrible school. Sophie, is it you? <laughs> So funny! Well, yeah, why? Because you look so beautiful and that hairstyle looks incredible on you. Yeah. Well, I did take a bath today. Thank you very much. <laughs> She's such a fool. And besides, I've been thinking about you a lot this past few days. What are you saying? Ethan, do you have a fever or something? I'm dreaming of you every night. Come on, Sophie. This is your chance. <laughs> <laughs> what a loser! What's going on? <laughs> Look at that poor girl, she makes me laugh a lot. You're all so mean, I should never have trusted you. <laughs> How come I fell into another of their pranks? That was super fun. Our prank was excellent. <laughs> she looked so pathetic making that gesture. <laughs> hey, brother, you're the best. She believed the whole thing. Sophie's useless. Ethan would never think of kissing a loser as disgusting as her. She's never going to have her first kiss, even less with someone as handsome as him. Yes, I'm very handsome. My brother is the best. <sighs> I'm really tired of this. I wanted to end. No one should go through any of this. Honey, believe me, life is beautiful and your life is only beginning. Who are you? We came here to offer you something. An immortal life that lasts forever. What? Who are you? I'll call the police right now. <sighs> ah! All right, I'm not going to do that. <sighs> Don't worry, we're not going to hurt you, darling. I want to be with my mom. Are you animals or humans? We're not animals, honey. We are vampires. <laughs> ah, all the house for us. Our parents are gone. Bro, why don't we enjoy and have a party? That's an excellent idea. I really like that. Let's invite the girls. <laughs> Will you invite me too? Oh, Dad! Dad, have you finished your hunt already? The party thing was just an innocent little joke. We're so happy that you're back home. Yeah, right? Listen, boys, your father has some news for you. Darling? Well, I hope it's good news for everyone. Of course. Of course. A present, Dad? Yes, guys, we have a gift for both of you. Daughter, come here. A daughter? It's a joke, right? Let's just see what they're talking about. Mom, Dad, I already know these guys. I don't understand why you didn't come look for me years ago. Meet your little sister. Get to know her. She's... Sophie? I'm so glad to see you. We will be a big, happy family. Hooray! <laughs> It seems they don't like me very much, as always. Dear daughter. Dear daughter. <sighs> Sophie, you have school. Time to get up. Sophie? Where did this girl go? Seriously? Yes. 
And Sophie is going to live with us from now on. She has your blood. She's your real sister. Yes, I always dreamed of having brothers. This is crazy. Who came up with this? Couldn't we have a normal sister? Hey, I'm listening to everything you say. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Dad. But we're not going to be friends with the loser from school. I already knew they were going to get rebellious. They all go to the same school. Aren't you guys friends? No! no. Then you will become good friends. <sighs> good luck, darling. Why are you both looking at me that way? It's not my fault that they're my parents. Sophie, but you already have a mother. What do you want another family for? My mother is very poor, and let's face it, let's just say she's a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen her parents yet? Both of her parents have been weird for decades, so that totally beats your mom. That's right, it doesn't count. But at least you're millionaires. You have wooden walls and doors. But my mother and I were living on the street. I don't care. Now I have a giant house. <laughs> I wonder now, where's her mother? Doesn't she really care about Sophie? I don't know. The question is why her parents wanted Sophie back and also why didn't they choose someone else from our school? Yeah, Sophie's the weirdest girl in school. They could adopt someone else. This is all very interesting. Let's go find out why. So darling, what do you think? We'll be able to convince Sophie to turn into a vampire? Well, if she doesn't want to, we'll force her. <sighs> No! No one is going to use hypnosis on children, have you forgotten the rules yet? That is a foolish rule! If it wasn't for that nonsense, our children would have turned into vampires long ago. No! Only when they decide we are going to help them! Violetta! This conversation is over. And what if they want to be a 30-year-old vampire? What are we going to do? I really don't see a problem with that. They'll have the body of a 30 year old, that's too old! So someone who is 30 is too old now? Says a 300 year old vampire! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Tell me, what's so funny? Just look at the video we made about Sophie! Oh wow! Does the video already have a million views? Of course! Our dear followers love to see pranks on silly girls like her! Tell me, do you think she never kissed a guy? Of course! How do you know? That girl Sophie has never kissed anyone, that's obvious! Believe me, she never touched someone's hand! You know, I don't think anybody likes that dumb girl! I think so too! So pathetic, she doesn't even have a friend. <sighs> what? Is that Sophie? Where? <gasps> they are together? They're together? What? what? I'm really happy. I don't know what the heck's going on, but I don't like it. We have to go and find out. Hey, you guys, I'm really happy that we're a family. Um, listen, Sophie, you shouldn't tell anyone here that you live with us. Why is that? Let's just pretend that we don't know each other at school, alright? You're so rude! I have a feeling that she's upset. What can we do? We can't let people here know the loser is her sister now. So? We want you to explain everything. Emma, Susie, what are you talking about? We're talking about the loser. We want to know all the details. How glad I am that our family is together again. Yes, the children are together and they hate each other and our life is forever. <laughs> Max, are you crying because you're happy? That is not me. But how? Everyone is at school now. <laughs> oh, Sophie. Sophie? What? <laughs> Why are you here? You were supposed to be at school with everyone. I don't want to go to school ever again. I also don't want to leave the house anymore. Sophie? Just a second. Tell me, Kevin. You want to throw a party at our house? <laughs> well, okay, but only if you invite Sophie too. Oh no, this is going to get even worse. Don't worry, daughter. The parties at our house are cool. Honey, you have to be a real beauty today. What are you going to do to me? You're the daughter of vampires. You cannot be weak. You will live forever. Get up and stop crying. What? 
I'm going to be immortal? Not yet, but we can help you with that. <sighs> um, no, but thank you. No need to be scared. You'll be a real beauty tonight. <sighs> Susie, what's taking you so long? I'm waiting for you here. And I'm just arriving. What? Susie? Emma, is that a joke or what? This is your fault! Why are you dressed like that? Of course it's not my fault! You always wear the same thing as me! It was you who arrived to the party after me! Okay, maybe no one will notice. <laughs> hey girls, did you come as twins to the party? <laughs> How wonderful! Just what I needed! You're not sisters, right? Did you agree to come like that? No! Hello, everyone. Sophie? Great. Right. This is exactly what we needed. But since when does Sophie look so beautiful? Beautiful? Is she talking about me? Oh, my God. I feel that all of this has to do with mom. She always chooses similar styles for us. But at least we are brothers. <laughs> Shut your mouth! I think you need some help to choose your outfits. <laughs> what should I do? I would like to have a friend. Shut up now, you guys! You're acting like children. I have to admit you make very good jokes, bro. <laughs> it's not cool for you to laugh at us. By the way, you have great outfits. I really like them, girls. Uh, Susie, take it off. off! I'm going to make Just you take, take it off the hard way. Come on, this isn't come on. Fair. Susie, I can't get off. Take it off! Yes. 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 I don't think I'll ever be ready for a party yeah. like this. So it's not about the money. I'm a millionaire, but still nobody wants to talk to me or be my friend. Oh, that's my other mom. Oh, this will do. Guide me, where is my dear daughter now? <gasps> what? <gasps> what a silly board! I hate it so much! If I go back home, I'll keep being poor and go crazy just like my mom. No, the only good option is to enjoy life and become a vampire. Honey, I'm tired of dealing with teenage problems. My head hurts a lot. Now behave yourself, or you could actually ruin all of our plans. You mean Sophie? Are you sure it will all work out? Yes, sweetie. Also, I suggest that we talk to Sophie tonight. Of course I want to, but I'm afraid we will not convince her. I don't think it's as easy as we think. Yeah, it's time for me to be just like you. Sophie? Sophie? What are you talking about? I was thinking and I decided there will be no turning back. I want to become a vampire. Do you really feel ready to do this, honey? First, you must know the problems with vampirism. Uh, well, which problems? Having an immortal and happy life is not a problem for me. It would be a relief. You will not be able to feel the sunlight. No. Every day you'll have to wear a sun protection ring. And if you ever lose it, you could die in a second. <laughs> I don't care. It's easy to do all that. I don't need to pay attention to anything else. You will only be able to drink blood. And that is not everything. I don't care about that. You guys, do you like your life? Yeah. yeah. I want to be just like you. I want you guys to fight me right now. Are you sure, daughter? More than ever. All right, brother. Those girls fought real hard tonight. Yeah, that's right. That's the kind of parties I love to throw at home. Yeah, right. I really love them too. It was too much fun. By the way, where's Sophie? I haven't seen her for a long time. Oh, yeah, it's true. I forget about her existence. By the way, I'm getting used to her. She looked cool, right? She could be a good little sister for us. Yeah, she didn't look that ugly. I understand what you mean about her appearance. You know, after all, she never did anything bad to us. I think she's a very kind person. Are you thinking about being her friend? That's right. And you, could you do it? I could do it, but I'll never forget how weird it is that she's part of the family now. <laughs> <laughs> now you're one of us, daughter. Welcome to your new life. My daughter is a vampire. We're three vampires in this family! 
Sophie, how are you feeling? Tell me, is it the best moment of your life? So, daughter, tell us, what are you feeling now? I feel fine, but I'm a little hungry. I know, and the hunger is going to get worse. That's why we have a blood supply inside the house. I'll go get some blood for you to drink quickly. Yes, and I'll go get some stuff so you don't throw up. I feel so unstoppable. All right. Finally, our beautiful daughter is a real vampire. Yes, I'm happy. Our little Sophie is finally going to be part of our powerful clan. We have to teach her how to drink blood, and she is ready. I think it's enough. Of course, now Sophie is a big girl. I know. That's why we'll teach her how to hunt later. Ah! Help me! Please I hope help. Sophie didn't bite the guys. Hurry up! Let's go! Sophie! Sophie! Kevin, why were you yelling like that? Ethan, run away! What's wrong with you? Oh, Sophie, you just scared me. But what just happened to you? She's so strange. Kevin, what are you doing there? And why don't you come out? Ethan, get out of here now and call mom and dad! Sophie, wait, I don't want to be a vampire. Sophie! Sophie! That was delicious. The boys. the boys! What just happened in here? Oh well. Have you been beaten? Thank you, Dad. Mom, thanks for our sister. <laughs> My boys. Also, thank you for arriving quickly. Oh no, we didn't want this to happen. I really can't believe it. We told you we didn't want to become vampires. And look, here we are. You never cared about it. You promised. We'll do something about it. Forgive us. Hey, where are you going? We really need to find Sophie immediately. But she just turned us into vampires. We don't know what will happen. Don't you know how it works? Well, honestly, we didn't know what to do with this gift of yours. What a great gift. Hey, boys, Sophie is currently a big danger. We have to find her and stop her quickly. No, Max, you'll stay here with the boys. You know, guys, I think your mother is very mad at Sophie right now. And Enough! We understood that. Listen, I'll tell you the clan's most important secret. What does that have to do with all of this? Also, you will have a beautiful and magnificent body forever. I don't need that. I want to keep my body as it is. How cool. I can smell delicious food everywhere. Stop it, you lunatic. This is dangerous. And we agreed to meet them at 6 p.m. Neither Ethan or Kevin are here. <sighs> yeah, they should have arrived long ago. I hope they are not with that pathetic girl Sophie. She seems so strange to me. Lately, they have been very close to her. I really wonder why. This is amazing. And hello. Thanks for the compliments, girls. Sophie? Sophie? What's wrong with you? Nothing's wrong. Now I'm the new Sophie. Do you like it? You really look very tired. Haven't you slept well? You look very scary. What's happening now? Are you scared? You mean I'm foolish girls? You don't come any closer to us. Both of you will be my best friends. You friend. know, I think we should get out of here and go somewhere else. Stop there. The two of you are going to be my best friends because now I'm the coolest of all, understood? Time to pay for everything. Sophie, wait! Don't bite anyone! Mom, calm down. I wasn't going to bite anyone else. Hey, girls, are you both all right? Of course we are. We are having a great time with Sophie. Also, she's our best friend and we love her very much. I told you. To be honest, I'm a bit jealous of Sophie. She's too amazing. Don't leave without me. The girls are not acting normally, and they seem to like Sophie. But why is that? Calm down, calm down, vampires. You have to control your strength and the power you're feeling, which I know is not normal. I still can't believe I'm not human. Your beloved daughter did all this. What do you have to adopt her? Sophie's not to blame. She's also new to this and maybe she was very hungry. It is normal the first time. I hope that girl doesn't hurt anyone. 
Surprisingly, everything is fine. Sophie hasn't bitten her friends. What? Sophie has no friends. Um, what about Susie and Emma? They just told me that they are her classmates. They're just classmates. They're not Sophie's friends. The girls told me that they were Sophie's friends and they think she's a very cool person. Are you sure she doesn't have any friends? Yes. Mom, I think you're wrong this time. Are you sure you're talking about Emma and Susie? They totally hate Sophie and they always make fun of her because she's a loser at school. I already know what is happening. I think Sophie took advantage of our hypnosis powers. You think she learned how to use our powers? Yes, she hypnotized them. I guess the girls may be in trouble now, right Kevin? Wait a second, what do you mean by police? What's going on? Susie and Emma don't know what they're doing. Now they've robbed a bank and they're afraid to tell their parents. And I guess they didn't want to rob a bank themselves, right? We have to stop Sophie immediately. It's time for us to go hunting. <sighs> Sophie, what are you doing? Are you as crazy as your mom already? Don't worry, the policeman is alive. I just wanted to drink some blood. It is good for my health. I'm so scared of that girl. Oh, thank you so much for that compliment, my dear Emma. That wasn't a compliment. I don't understand what is happening here. Before we were thinking that you were cool. Then we suddenly wanted to rob a bank. That's right, I was there too. Now we totally regret too and then we realized that those were not our wishes. Oh, poor girls. I'm already tired. Listen, Emma, I don't think it's a good idea to tease Sophie. The truth is that the bank was robbed thanks to me. Well, why? Why didn't we listen to you? What is this? Are you using some kind of black magic like your mom does? No, this is not magic. And my mother is not a witch. What do you mean? My parents are different people. Well, they're not people. They're not people? And who are your parents, Sophie? They are vampires. My team Sophie ended up being something other than a loser. I'm so scared. <sighs> Susie, are you kidding me? What does that matter? We are in jail. In case you haven't noticed, we'll never get out. Daughter, stop. Get away from me, mom. Daughter, you're not hungry. You're already doing it because you're evil. I just want to eat something. Calm down, little sister. Everyone get away from me now. Looks like you're trapped, little sister. No! Sophie! No, please don't leave me here alone again. We have no choice anymore. I don't want to be poor. I don't want to go on living in a place with no walls and no doors. We gave you the chance, but you ruined everything. Eternal life, perfect body, and inhuman strength. But you, silly sister, decided to bite your innocent brothers and turned us into vampires. That's not fair. We wanted to live a quiet human life, but you took that away from us. I know I'm horrible. Please, just forgive me. I'm embarrassed. You also got the girls into big trouble and made them believe they were your best friends. You hurt everyone. No. Yes. You made them commit crimes, unlock those poor school girls in jail. Now the girls will be in jail for a long time, it's very serious. They have parents who miss them both. I beg everyone to please stop, I already feel like a monster from a horror movie. Hm, that's what you are. Mother? Oh, do you remember that you had a crazy and poor mother? Also that you left me all alone and replaced me for a millionaire family? No, I beg you, stop it! No! Sophie, what's going on? What are you doing to my little girl? Calm down, Miss Monica, no one has done anything to her. Sophie was only dreaming. She must have been dreaming of the party. She's so lazy. Mom, why are you even dressed like that? I know, this jacket is from the past collection. It's time to buy a new one. And why does my mom look like a millionaire? Maybe because she is a millionaire. She's also the principal. I don't understand what's happening. And you? Why are you wearing such ugly old clothes? Well, I'm sorry. We don't have as much money as your mother. We're all very poor. Please don't make fun of me today. Last time you posted that story, the whole school was laughing at me. 
You're not a vampire anymore? Oh, by the way, I like the outfit you wore to the party. We saw it in some photos. Uh, yeah, you know, after yesterday's party, I had very strange and dark dreams. You wouldn't even believe me. You'd be very scared of the things that I dreamed about. We're already scared of you. I can't deny in your dark dreams. Also, it's weird that you're talking to us. You just make fun of us and harass us. So I'm a monster after all. My dream about vampires was actually true. Listen, are you sure you actually feel good? Hey guys, let's go to my place. I'll throw a party for all of you. Oh my gosh, Sophie, do you really feel okay? What's going on? I don't know if this is real. Sophie, you're playing another joke on us, right? No, I really want to be your friend. I don't want you to fear me anymore. <laughs> let's go and get ready quick before she changes her mind. Yeah, I can't even believe all this. Ethan, thank you for this nice date. And why don't we always go out during the night? It's just that I have a lot to do, and I'm free at night. It was our fifth date today. Well, yeah. I wonder why you didn't kiss me yet. I can do it now. Oh, that's my sister. Just hide. But why? Go and hide. Uh, hi, Emma. It's a beautiful night tonight. Um, what's that smell, Ethan? Uh, I just forgot to take out the trash. No, it's human smell. I don't know. Uh, hello. I was looking for my earring. And Violet is leaving now. Don't forget the homework you came for. Uh, can we go for a walk now? Uh, it's nice tonight. Sorry, I can't. Ethan, what was that girl doing in our house? Uh, she's Violetta. I don't care who she is. You know the rules! I know we're vampires and we're not supposed to talk to humans, but Emma... Enough with the butts! Did Ethan bring another human home? Be quiet! This isn't the first time! No! I don't think you understand the reasons why we have rules! You shouldn't talk to her anymore! Ethan, let's go out to play! Good morning, girls! What's up? Violetta? Don't ask, I couldn't sleep. She was up late at Ethan's house. Ah, uh, with Ethan? So what's going on? He looks kind of weird to me. I think he's normal. I don't know, he seems a little weird to me. And his sister too. <gasps> don't listen to her, Violetta. Come on, girls, we'll be late again. Hey, but I haven't had my coffee yet. It's your fault, you were late. Violetta, get down. You're going to fall. No, I won't. Oh! Violetta! Girls, what happened to Violetta? She's in a coma. Are you serious? She fell. I warned her about it, but she didn't listen to me. You must calm down. It'll be all right. <laughs> Oscar, just look at what happened. I'm sorry, buddy. Do you know how to help? No, you know I'm just a werewolf. <sighs> My dear Violetta. Ethan, we have to go. If Emma finds out... I don't care what Emma says. All right, I'm leaving. <sighs> Violetta, I really wish I could help you. Although I can. Were you? I was just busy. How come you're busy when the sun is shining? It's dangerous. It's all good. What have you got there, blood? Ethan, did you bite someone? It's just... Katsu. I ate a hot dog, Emma. I hope that's true. I wonder for how long Violetta will be in a coma. There's no way to know. It could just be a few days or a couple of years. Oh, wow. Is there nothing we can do? Unfortunately, not. I think I'll go see her this afternoon. <sighs> Hello, Violetta. I still don't know what to say. Or if you can even hear me now. Violetta! You're awake now! I'm so glad! How are you feeling? Very hungry. Don't
Don't you worry, Violetta. Let's go eat some hot dogs. I don't want hot dogs. Well, okay, whatever you want. Blood. Hey, are you feeling okay? Zuzi, I was... <gasps> Violetta! <laughs> we were so worried about you. What happened? Why am I in the hospital? You fell down and you hit your head very hard. Yeah, you fell into a coma. I don't remember anything. I think it's normal that you don't remember anything. Let's go home now. Should we go and tell the doctor? But he's not here. Let's go. <sighs> it's time to go to all the nearby stores and find food. Violetta, are you coming? Yeah, I'll go, but I don't think I'm feeling very well. Ow! Do you want to go back to the hospital? No, 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 let's go. Uh, ow! What's going on? The sun is way too hot. Everything is normal. Hmm. So yummy. I love garlic sauce. This is the best. Violetta! You're finally okay. Oh, Ben, that's so stinky. Violetta, shall we? Violetta. 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 Get away from me. What's wrong with her? She came out of a coma. She needs some time. <gasps> What's wrong with me? <laughs> Violetta. As I thought, that helped you. Ethan, something's wrong. I feel very weird now. Yes, Violetta, I know. It will soon pass. You know? What's wrong with me? That's a little bit hard to explain. <sighs> Come on. Ethan, can you tell me what's happening to me? Sit down. Listen, I helped you out of your coma. And the truth is, you still don't know all about me. About what? Violetta, I am a vampire. Uh, what kind of vampire, Ethan? This must be a dream. No, Violetta. In fact, I beat you as well, and you're a vampire now. I am a vampire? Ethan, why did you do that to me? I didn't know how to help you, and I thought it could work. And how could you know if that's what I wanted? I couldn't ask you. It seems like you didn't really feel like talking. That's because I was in a coma, Ethan. Yeah, and I decided to help you. I'm a vampire. What am I going to do now? What about my life? Violetta, everything's going to be okay. Look at me. I have a cool life. Nothing is going to be okay, Ethan. I don't want to have this life. I can only go out at night for blood. Come on, you have to look on the bright side. You're not going to get old now. And you'll stay just as beautiful. And what is the point of staying like this? Sorry, I'm just trying to calm you down. <sighs> Ethan, did you forget what I said? <sighs> no, no, no. Ethan, it's not possible. Uh, Emma, I can explain everything. What kind of explanation would you give me now? Just tell me you didn't do it. I'm sorry, Emma. I really did this. Really? So is she a vampire too? <laughs> Emma, I had no other options. And you just decided to bite her? It was the only way to save her. Maybe you shouldn't have. Why are you angry at me? I just wanted to do what was best. Uh, Ethan, you made a big mistake. You don't believe here. And do you know how to take it back? Hmm? No. And neither do I. I just want to go back to being normal. Oh, Violetta. What's up? Well, wait. Why doesn't she smell like a regular human? No. Uh, Ethan, may I? What's the matter? Do you want to fight again? No, Ethan, I'm sorry. It's just that this has all been so sudden. I understand. I also reacted the same way when I was bitten. I don't know. Maybe I would still be in a coma if it wasn't for you. You'll see, Violetta. You're going to love being a vampire. Listen, I'm so hungry right now. Is there anything to eat here? So, how do I look? Oh, cereal. Ooh. 
What's this awful taste? This milk is out of date. No, it's because you're a vampire. Vampires don't drink milk. Then why do you have it here? Ah, that's mine. Aren't you a vampire? Me? <laughs> of course not. Werewolf. Right, here you go. What's this? Just try it. Mmm, tasty. It's blood. <sighs> blood, why did you give me that? Because you're a vampire, Violetta. I told you before, she doesn't belong here. I'm not used to it. Mmm. Oh, fresh blood? Delicious. Oh, I have to go to school now. I'll see you later. Three, two, one. Ah, oh, it burns. Oh, what am I going to do to go to school? Nothing. Vampires don't go out during the day, only at night. And what do I do? I have to go to school and see the girls. Not now. Yeah, you won't be able to tan on the beach now. Sunscreen, right. Just a second. Where is she going? Okay, this might help. What is that? It's sunscreen. It's normally used to avoid the sun's rays. Try it on. I don't think it will work. We should try it. Violetta, but please, be careful. Yes, the sun is very bright today. Oh, okay. It seems to be working, look. Emma, it's working. We can go outside during the day. I'm perfect. Emma, don't you like it? Very much. It doesn't seem so. Because vampires don't go out in the daytime. But you don't have to worry about the sun anymore. That's perfect, Emma. We can go on a picnic together and then play. Vampires should never walk when the sun is out. Actually, phones didn't exist before. Everything changes. I'm not going to use that stupid sunscreen. <sighs> She'll get used to it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Good morning. Violetta, how are you feeling? We've been so worried about you. I'm feeling better now. Hey, girls, I know what we need. Chopping, relaxing, and having some fun. I agree with you. Violetta, how are you doing? I'm so glad you're back. Thank you, Ben. It's a little strange. What strange? Well, the way that you came out of the coma. It was all very sudden. Ben, why does that matter? It was good news for us. <sighs> Violetta, what's that in your eyes? Uh, what is wrong? Why are you so red now? I didn't get much sleep last night. Okay, Ben, stop it. Yes, Ben, that's enough. Well, there shouldn't be anything weird about that. I guess so. By the way, Violetta, have you seen Ethan? Well, since you came out of the coma. Ethan, no, I haven't seen him. Wow, that's a beautiful bracelet. Violetta, try it on. Wow, oh, it's really hot. Well, no, it's fine. I like it. I'll take it. Okay, then. Try this one on. Oh, Leila, why are you giving it to me? It's enough. Violetta, hey, what's wrong? Violetta, are you okay? I hate your silly jokes. <laughs> She's acting a bit strange. She's been through so much. <sighs> What's going on? Hmm? Is everything all right? No. I can see. Why are you doing that? <gasps> because it seems like all the jewelry I'm trying to touch is hot. It's hot? But I know why. What are you saying? You're a vampire. And that's silver. What difference does that make? I can't even touch silver? No. The fridge is empty again. Oh. What's this? It's just juice, very tasty. I bought it instead of blood. Mmm, not bad. <sighs> Pour some here. Ew, what's that? It's just juice. What kind of juice? Ask her, pour me blood. Uh, I threw it all away. What did you do? Seriously? Yes, juice is healthier. Well, I need to drink some blood. Juice is good for you. Oh, you have no idea how nice it is to walk quietly in the sun. Ethan, she threw away all the blood supplies we had. But why? I 
don't know. Go ask her yourself. Violetta, why did you do that? Okay, try it. Mmm, yummy. Is that cranberry juice? We can drink that from now on. It's healthier and we can buy it in any grocery store. I don't think that's a bad idea, Emma. I can't stand you guys. I guess she's in a bad mood today. I really don't want to think about it, but I think there's something wrong with Violetta. Yeah, I've noticed that too. There's nothing wrong. She just came out of a coma. Yeah, but she was acting really weird in the shop before. And also, not even the doctors know how she came out of that coma. No need to worry. Let's give her some time and everything will be fine. You'll see that. Susie, I understand that she's your friend. And you don't want to accept the fact that she's not well now. But everything could get worse if she doesn't get any help. Susie, she's my friend too. But I've also noticed her strange behavior. Okay, let's check it out so you can calm down, okay? Ah, what on earth happened to my room? Oh, why are you screaming? What is all this? What? What is this? That? A bed? But you know it shouldn't be here! Actually, it does have to be there instead of that ugly, uncomfortable bed that was before. I bought a new one and now we can both sleep in it. Did you get rid of my coffin? Fool, it was a coffin? How awful! Yeah, where I usually sleep! This is more comfortable! Fine, I can't take it anymore! Emma, look, Violetta bought us a bed. Yeah, it's very comfortable, not like my carpet. Can you see? They like it. Violetta, thank you. It's very comfortable. <sighs> yes, we can sleep together now. I won't be afraid. Are you usually afraid? Yes, the clowns. I feel like they're chasing me around. Okay, now that everything back the way it was. But why? Everyone likes it. They won't have back problems. Seriously, Emma. Try it. You're really going to like it. I don't want to. I'd rather sleep on the floor. <sighs> Is she always like that? Who? Emma? Oh, yeah. I believe she thinks she's our mother. Yeah, she treats us like little kids. And I'm actually going to turn 200 years old. <sighs> Hello, yeah, Susie? Uh-huh, okay, I'm coming. Hello, guys, here I am. This was her plan. Violetta, we were worried about you. Why would you worry? Everything is fine. Ben and I feel that since you came out of the coma, you've been really different. Um, that's fine. We just want to make sure everything's okay. I told you I am fine, don't you worry. That's what I told them, but they won't listen to me. The best will be to check it out before it's too late. Well, but after you check, will you leave me alone? I promise. Emma, let's go play ball. Oscar, there's still daylight outside. I can't go tonight. I'm bored. Let's go now. I'm not going while the sun is shining. But I have sunscreen here. You can use some. Hey, what are you doing? I won't use that nonsense. Why not? There's nothing wrong with using it. In fact, you can go out in the sun now. Real vampires go outside at night. And that's the way it's always gonna be. Violetta says that... I don't care what Violetta says. She's not a real vampire. She was beaten by Ethan. So she is real? No, she's just a wannabe. She drinks juice instead of blood, like sun, sleeps in a bed. Okay, okay. You don't have to do that. Calm down. Ugh. Hmm, how strange. What's wrong? Her teeth are oddly shaped. They've always been that way. Hmm, her eyes are red. I spend a lot of time looking at my cell phone. Hmm, all right. I'll check the polls. <clears throat> hmm, I don't really understand this. Ben, what's happening? I can't hear a heartbeat. Why isn't it beating? Is something wrong? That's enough, guys. Everything is normal. You see? That's what I told you. Doesn't seem normal to me. 
Ben, what's wrong? Mm, I don't know, but that's very strange. Um, do you think there's something really wrong with her? I'll check it out. Only then we'll understand. I told you that you didn't have to worry. Well, yeah, I'm fine now. In fact, I feel amazing. All right, Susie. Bye-bye. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Get lost, Violetta. Why are you so mad? Are you asking me? It's because of you. Uh, me? And tell me, what did I do? Stop it. You ruined everything. Everything. I'm sorry, I didn't want to become a vampire. That's what I mean. You don't want to be a vampire? Emma, who does? Do you think I chose this? There's no other way to live. You should behave like a real vampire, not a human. I don't want to give up my old life, especially not because you don't like it. We used to have a normal life, living like some real vampires, and you came along and messed it up. I'm only trying to keep my old life. I'm trying to do the same things I used to. And you think we need that now? I don't know about you, but the rest of us want to. I know what they need better than you do. But how? I've known them for a long time. And I know them better now, because you don't seem to notice anything but you and yourself. What did you just say? If that's not true, then you would have noticed that they are happier now. And Ethan and Oscar aren't little boys. They don't need to be taken care Listen, of. Listen, the only time I didn't look after Ethan, he made a bad decision and that's why you're in this house. It's the best thing that happened to this house in recent times. At least someone cleaned it up. You ruined the whole place. Cleaned out the spider webs and threw away all my stuff. Because you couldn't even have guests around here. We don't like inviting people. I know, you don't even know how to have a normal conversation. You should get out of here. Don't dream about it. I'll only leave this place if that's what Ethan wants. If Ethan wants that, all right. Well, do you know anything? Yeah, and I don't think you like that. What's wrong? It looks to me like Violetta is a vampire. <laughs> what do you mean, vampire, Ben? You're making that up. I'm not making it up. I looked all over the internet and that's the only right answer. Well, vampires aren't real. They're just stories. They just don't exist. How do you know? Maybe nobody's ever seen them before, except for us. Well, okay. If she's a vampire now, she must have been bitten by someone else. Who did that? Hmm, I've got an idea. I've got to check it out. Will you come? Okay. <laughs> What's that? What do you think it is? What are you doing? I wanted to try it. Oh, maybe you shouldn't. It's just juice. <sighs> Let's go. <sighs> you see, if Ethan was a vampire, he wouldn't walk in the sun. I don't know. <laughs> Look, it's a regular room with a bed and normal stuff. Yeah, something's wrong. Nothing's wrong. You're the one that's wrong. I think I'm right about this. All right, Ben, let's just get out of here before someone else sees us or we get into some real big trouble. Hey, guys, what are you doing here? And what are you doing? I came to visit Violetta. Um, same here. <laughs> she never told me you were coming. Surprise. Surprise! Ben, Layla, I didn't imagine you were coming. Yes, Violetta, your new home looks amazing. And why are you living with Ethan now? Uh, I don't live here. I just come over sometimes. You said you lived here. What? Really? I don't remember. Are you a vampire? Ben! What? Ben is only joking. That's a weird joke, Ben. It's not a joke. You've been really weird lately. And you're having a lot of changes, and there's only one explanation for that. Ben, what are you trying to say? Did you get dizzy from the sun? I immediately noticed that there was something wrong. Calm down, Ben. Everything is just normal. Yeah, I might be acting a little weird. You have to remember that I hit my head. It looks like it was Ben who hit his head. If you don't want to tell the truth, then I'm going to find out. Mm -hmm. I had to try it. 
You shouldn't have said something like that. Now everyone will think you're crazy. Well, I still have to find out about it. Ben, just tell me why does it matter so much, Chief? Think. If all this is the truth, we have to tell everyone. This will be the greatest discovery and science will be meaningless. It'll prove that we don't know about this world. Uh, Violetta needs to get out of here. Emma, I can understand that you don't like her at all, but that's too much. She only ever causes trouble. Emma, since she's been here, there's less trouble. No, if she keeps going out to the streets whenever she wants, all her friends will start to get suspicious. Emma, don't make things up. Ethan, I'm not making up the rules as I go. If they find out what? Who's going to believe them? They all believe vampires don't exist. You're not listening to me. I hear you, Emma. We know you never like anything new. What point are you trying to make? Think. Violetta showed up, and you don't like her. Well, it makes sense to me. Listen well. Oscar and I are not your children. What do you mean? You always treat us like children. You're always telling us what we have to do. That's all because if I didn't do that, I don't even know where you will be now. Oh, Violetta, do you want to go play in the garden? Well, of course. I gotta find out the truth. Hmm. Ah! What's up? You're reading such interesting books about vampires. Ah, I just like to read about those kind of things. I don't think you like to read these books. I think I don't like the tone you're using. Listen to me well, you better stay away from this. Uh, I'm not getting into anything. There are things no one else needs to know. Like the fact that you're vampires? I already knew that. Do you understand no one else is going to believe you? And if you dare talk about it, you're going to regret it. And what are you going to do to me? Bite me? No, if I did something like that, you'd be a vampire and I don't want that. I just don't want you to gossip about this. <sighs> Layla! <laughs> Layla! Ben, what's wrong? Calm down. Layla, it's true. What? They're vampires. That story again? That's enough. No, Layla. She told me that herself. <gasps> Who? Her. Ethan's sister. Seriously? Yes. She found out I was suspicious and threatened me not to tell anyone. Okay, Ben, we need to come up with a plan to make this stop. What plan? We have to act as soon as we can. No, Ben, you will do nothing without me. Do you get that? I get it. Ben. Okay. <sighs> Sorry, Layla, but I can't wait long. I have to find some evidence. <sighs> So you didn't understand? Oh, I just came to visit. Uh, I knew you'd come without me. Why did you do that? <sighs> Layla, turn around. <laughs> that was fun. They were asking for it. I warned them. Are you out of your mind? Let my friends go. It's all their fault. Hey, wait. I don't think you want to do that. Why did you tie them up? This little genius has figured it all out and they want to tell people about it. Ben. <laughs> Emma, let them go. They are not the ones to blame. To me, they're guilty of having friends just like you. This is all your fault. Okay, I'll get out of here like you wanted. Just let them go. Where will you go? And what the heck's going on, Emma? Ethan, I had already told you your new friend would bring nothing but trouble. Why are they tied up? If you hadn't brought her along, this wouldn't have happened. I only brought Violetta because I'm in love. You fell in love with her? Yes, and I won't let her leave this place. Ethan, our family was just fine. We're real vampires. What now? I can't stand a life like this anymore. I want to live like a normal person. Ethan, we can't live like normal people, you know? Those are just our rules. Those are just your rules. Violetta's arrival allowed us to live a new, a normal life. Hey, why didn't you say so before? Have you ever listened to me before? That's right, Emma. You're not a good sister. 
Everything that I've done has been to keep us safe. Thank you, Emma. We understand. But you don't need to do that. We're not kids. Ethan and I just wanted to have fun, like normal people do. But you never let us. I never really thought that it was that important. Emma, we told you many times. Being able to go outside changed my life. And now that I have Violetta, I understood what love is. And everything's different now. I guess I will have to understand that we will never think alike. Emma, we really love you, but we also want to be free. All right, if that's what you want, I'll just have to accept that everyone's different. Thank you, Emma, and I hope that now we can become good friends. No, I've already made a decision. I'm leaving. You're leaving? But why? I did everything I could. You'll decide for yourselves now. Goodbye. Ethan, did you mean what you said? Every single word. I love you too. Someone please help We're us! We're too scared. Hey guys, what's happening? Why are you yelling? What's going on here? There are new students at school. So what? Is that a good reason to scream so loud? They are very strange. They scare us a lot. Emma, you shouldn't be so calm. Come with us. Let's get out of here. That's true. First, I'm not going anywhere. Calm down. You're imagining things, guys. I'm not going to fall for your tricks ever again. Last time was enough. Oh, no. I think I hear footsteps approaching. <laughs> let's go fast. Girls, let's get out of here quick. Ah! Where were you all planning to escape to? Interesting. Why are they so afraid? What the hell's going on in this place? They were trying to escape, but upon seeing me, they immediately fainted. Oh, wow. Who's that handsome guy? Anyways, how much longer will you make me wait? Don't get so angry. We're finally together, little sister, and we've got a lot of work to do. Little sister? Oh, that's even more interesting. Of course. I've only been here for 15 minutes and I had to find a way to have fun around here. I didn't expect less from you either. <laughs> 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 I finally found you, evil Ethan. It was easier than I thought. I'll always chase you until the end of time. You won't be able to hide. <laughs> What a handsome guy. I have a strange attraction to him. I need to know a little bit more. Look at my notes, Sam. Yeah, look what I wrote. <laughs> um, how handsome is that guy? Good afternoon, guys. I have a very important announcement to make. I wanted to introduce you to some of your new classmates. Hello, everyone. I am Ethan. And I'm his sister, Violetta. What is that in your mouth? Is that blood? Ah, everyone run! Miss Louisa, where's she going? I told you that it's not a good idea to hunt for food in the morning. Look at the big trouble we have caused. Don't worry, the only one who noticed that was the teacher. No, it can't be happening. Those weird kids can't study with us. We are having such bad luck. Why are you guys so quiet? Are you afraid of me? Come on, tell me. Don't worry about anything. We're not going to bite you. Hmm, unless you ask, of course. Oh, oh no. no. Sisters, stop it. They're too scared. Very good. Do you want to be my friend? Uh, why are your hands so cold? Don't touch me like that again. Hey, my name is Emma. It's so nice to meet you both. And Emma isn't afraid of that pair of lunatics? She's a very weird girl. Yes, Emma, we already knew your name. Emma, step aside. What are you trying to do? What did I do to make you so upset, Violetta? Hey, you heard me. Hey, guys, we need to get some air. We'll be back in a bit. I would really prefer that they didn't come back. Me too. I do want them both to come back. I like them very much. Well, you've always been very strange. I agree. You're fools. That's why she doesn't have any friends. Oh, girls. Sister, I've got a whole plate of fresh blood for us to celebrate our success. What success are you talking about, Ethan? We haven't done anything successful yet. First, we became teenagers. 
When we have successfully entered this prestigious school. Hmm. That is true. We've done very well, brother. Hmm. This is quite delicious. Of course, it's the taste of fresh blood. They won't last long in this world. I'll take care of it. I won't let them live in this place. Brother, you must remember it. While we are on a mission, there's no place for a love. I already know that. Besides, I don't need a relationship right now. Mm, I really hope so. Because I saw how you looked at that girl, Emma. I remember you had the same look 100 years ago. No, don't talk to me about Annabelle. That was a mistake. Yeah, right. I don't want us to have unnecessary problems. I promise you, everything will be fine. Excellent. Do you smell the same as me? <laughs> That's the smell of magic. Oh no, they smelled me. I've got to get out of here. I don't like that at all. Let's get out of here now. <sighs> My friend, what is happening to you? Been sighing all the time and looking in the same direction for half an hour. It's something, please. Um. It's true, I just can't get the new guy out of my head, even though he's strange. He's also nice and handsome. Have you gone crazy, Emma? Don't even think about that weird guy. Well, why not? You like him too, don't you? No, I don't like him at all. I just feel that he's hiding something very dark, and talking to him could be very dangerous for both of us. I can feel it. You feel it? I find him very interesting. What is happening? I told you. Oh, girls, did I scare you? I promise you it was an accident. Mm. I can't get used to not being someone super strong. Um, Ethan, we have to get out of here now. I am sorry. Susie, go by yourself. I don't want to go. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> This was so incredible. What kind of magic is it? We have this? to get out of here fast, Emma. Looks like I scared, Susie. I'm not interested, foolish girl. Oh, it's not in this room either. Where the hell did he hide it? Susie, you grabbed me so tight you cut me with your fingernail. My friend, forgive me for doing that, but I did everything for your safety. <sighs> what can I do to apologize? Can you get me a band-aid? I have blood all over my finger. Blood? Why is there so much blood? Um, and what are you doing in our room? Well, nothing. I was just looking for something that is mine. Um, and why were you hiding behind the curtain? Not your business. Emma, it's your finger that's bleeding, right? Oh no, Emma, you better run for your life! What? I don't understand. You don't have to understand, girl. Let me help you with that. Oh, but let it stop! Ah! <sighs> Why are you making that weird sound? <sighs> what a little bastard. I'll teach him not to mess with me when I am hunting my prey. And who was your prey? Shut up. Don't even get involved. Sleep. That's better. How are you, Emma? Did Violetta hurt you? I feel fine, but I'm not quite sure what happened. Just be a little more careful. I will always be here to protect you from danger. I have never met a boy as cute and mysterious as him. Violetta appeared out of nowhere in our room. It seemed she wanted to hurt Emma. I was very scared. That's right. Those new students are very strange. Listen to me. I fainted and I don't remember anything else. I woke up this morning like nothing happened. I can't remember more. That doesn't sound like fun at all, really. I'm really scared of those two. Listen, we have to find out who they really are right now, all right? Let's go. I think those two can possibly help me. Hello, guys. And who are you? Hey, you better stay away from us. Well, it wasn't the best way to introduce myself, but I think we can help each other. We need each other. We could talk about it. Listen, we don't want to talk to any more strangers, especially because you seem weird and creepy. Let's get out of here. Stop right there. I'm not evil. I'll show you. 
Abracadabra. Here, these are for you. Sam, let's get away from him. Yeah, let's go now. I definitely don't want anything to do with this man. Okay, so I'll have to take that as a no. Of course, H is takes its toll. After all, I'm 750 years old. I used to do so much sport when I was younger. Oh, hello, Ethan. I've been looking for you. Emma, hello. I wanted to thank you for offering to keep an eye on my well-being and safety last time. This is for you. Whoa, thank you very much, but you didn't have to buy anything for me. I just did it because I wanted to. Honestly, I wanted to tell you something important too. I like you. Hmm, this is stylish. But listen, the problem is that we can't be in a relationship together. Why not? You don't like me? It's a long story that unfortunately I can't tell you right now. Anyway, I can't have a relationship right now. Um, I'm not used to rejection. So take this. Looks like I'm in trouble again. That's what I thought. Maybe they're criminals who managed to get out of prison and they want to rob us all. Well, I don't think so, because if they were real criminals, they would have chosen a school of only millionaire children. And this is not the place. You're right. So I don't know what they want with us anymore. Um, knock knock. Hi guys, can we talk? Of course, Miss Louisa. Take a seat. Guys, we need to find out what kind of place the new students are coming from. Because by just looking at them, it gives me the goosebumps. That's what we are talking about. We have thought about several options and situations, but none are correct. I think the same thing happened to us a few years ago here at school. It's a strong feeling. I just got an idea. Pale skin? Cold skin and blood red eyes? Wearing dark clothes and constant thirst for blood. This means uh, they're your vampires. vampires! Okay, brother, how are we doing with the mission? Hmm. I haven't started yet. I'm sorry. I had an emergency. We have to hurry up. I have a very bad feeling. Wait, can you hear that? Yeah, I can hear that. Hello, Mom. Can you hear me? Can you believe that at our school there are real vampires? Susie found out about us. I told you to complete the mission quickly. Now you have to bring her right here. Just give me a second. Yes, I'm so shocked. I need you to come with me, girl. Huh? Here she is. Why did you bring me here? Please don't hurt me, I beg you! Just be quiet. I swear I won't tell anyone else, I promise! You shouldn't have messed with others' business. Vampires have never believed in false promises made by ordinary humans like you. I'm serious, so then what are you going to do? You will have to join us. No! Welcome to our wicked world, Susie. Oh... Where the heck is she? You're finally here. I've been calling you all night. Where were you? I don't waste my time with normal people like you. What are you talking about, friend? <laughs> What's going on? Can you hear me? You're scaring me. Can't you see? <sighs> Wait, don't tell me that you've become one of them. <laughs> I warned you, boy. If you had cooperated with me to work as a team, none of this would have happened to your friend. I can assure you that. Oh, no! <laughs> I want him. Ethan, I've never had a boyfriend as special and protective as you. Wait a minute. Are we really dating? That's right. Or does it bother you? No, it doesn't. I also really like you a lot. Well then, that's great. Ethan, what are you doing? Why did you do this, sir? Emma? 
You did not have to do that. But you are the traitor, brother. And I told you very clearly, no love in school. That will ruin all the important plans we have to complete. Yeah, I know that I promised you, but she's amazing. And I'm sure Emma won't do any harm to us in the future. Either you end it with her immediately, or I'll make sure everyone in the clan banishes you forever. <sighs> You're so mean. Hey, Emma? I need to get you inside now. <clears throat> it's a pity that this happened and we cannot be together. After this, you'll wake up and you won't remember anything. Even so, I love you very much. Ethan? Here you are. What's happening here? I have a headache. Let me guess. You spent all this time with Ethan, right? That's right. Emma, he's a vampire, just like your sister Violetta. The two beat Susie and she became one of them right now. Are you actually serious right now? Of course I am, and I even have proofs. I need to talk to Ethan right now. Emma, where are you going? I never imagined that human blood tasted so good. It's so addictive. <laughs> Susie, easy now, slow down, or it can get worse. I know exactly what I am doing. Oh yeah, we've all been through that stage. Oh no, I think I really want to go to the bathroom right now. Oh no! I like seeing new vampires adjusting to their new life. It's funny to see what they do. Ethan, is it true? What does this mean? Can you still remember me? I used the strongest spell to make you forget who I am and everything we went through. Well, of course I remember. After all, I love you. Now tell me the whole truth. Are you a vampire? This weird relationship is finally going to end. He cannot be with her. He's immortal. Yeah, that's right. But you weren't supposed to remember. Hooray! I can't believe this is all real. <laughs> what? It's a dream come true. I've always wanted a vampire boyfriend. Emma, what's wrong with you? This didn't turn out the way I imagined it at all. Ethan the vampire! Ethan the vampire! Why, Emma. I'm the only one at school who is normal and sees things as they are. What is that smoke? It's nice to see you again, Sam. You? What do you want from me now? You weren't even surprised by my cool entrance. Hmm, I have to work on it. Do you know what? Nothing even surprises me anymore. Okay, but I'm actually here to ask you for an alliance again. So we can both win. And what will I get in return for that? Your old boring life. And how are we supposed to accomplish your plan? With garlic. We can fight them real good. <laughs> Interesting. Hey, please, 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 Ethan. No, I already told you. I'm not going to do it. Come on, do it now. I would also like to be a vampire. I'm not afraid of pain at all. Emma, this is not as easy as you think. Do you know how many vampire movies I've watched? I've been wishing for this my whole life since I was very little. But it's not as cool as they make it out to be in the movies. Enough, I have to go now. Hey, boy, you're trying to avoid this, right? Yes, uh, I mean, no. Anyway, you didn't even have to remember about me. Can't you see? It's obvious that we were both meant to meet and I was meant to be a vampire. I can feel it. No, walk away. I'm going to find you anyway, wherever you hide. The whole plan seems to be working. Hi, little sister. Hello, are you done with our mission yet? No, there has been a little additional problem. How come you still haven't been able to do it? Ethan, we're running out of time. We can't keep waiting for you. Forgive me, it's not on purpose. This is very serious. No, brother. You listen to me right now. Do you understand the level of responsibility that our clan has entrusted to us? Hey, guys, open the door. I already heard everything. I would also like to be a vampire like you. Who is that, Emma? Ethan, don't tell me she also found out about us. That's exactly what I was trying to tell you. I think she's special and her spells have no effect on her. Then solve this problem with that girl. I'm not going to help you or you are going to get me in big trouble too. Okay, I'll be back in a few minutes. I'm so tired of always saving you. <sighs> Ethan, after all you
you decided to buy me? Hooray! Now, Emma, I only brought you here to tell you that you're making our situation worse and causing trouble. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Now my sister is very angry that you know the truth, and it could be dangerous for you. Lately, I feel that you pushed me away and that you don't care about us. Stop it, Emma. I'm talking about serious things right now. No, first you make me fall in love with you and now you try to walk away like nothing ever happened. I warned you before our kiss. You should have walked away when I told you. Know, you. We both love each other so then much. explain that this would help to weaken vampires. Sense. All you say are really pathetic excuses. I'm not going to believe it. Emma, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm not feeling well. <clears throat> no, this can't be happening. Just wait, I'll save you. Oh, great. If the garlic doesn't kill vampires, then I don't know what I'm going to do anymore. Susie, what are you doing here? Can't you see? I am eating. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I've forgotten that you're a vampire too now. Then I guess I'll have to remind you. <sighs> I'm gonna ask you to become more careful with what you're doing. What's happening to you? Aren't you scared? What if I don't want to? <sighs> I'm honestly not afraid of you. I just wish I could get back my old friend. Susie, I used to like you. Did you really like me? What a smart boy. He's doing everything I told him to do. Just a little more time and I'll be able to do what I've worked for during this long hundred years. Oh. You're finally conscious again, my sweetheart. I was so worried. The only thing I remember was smelling a strange smell. Very strong. And then I fainted. Maybe that was my fault. I'm sorry. I think I forgot to shower this morning. <laughs> You're so funny, Emma. Mm, yeah, I'm very funny. Ethan, I've been looking everywhere for you and you were sleeping, right? Oh, your mean sister is here again. Ethan needs to rest. He's recovering because he fainted earlier. Get away from here, silly girl. No, I won't let you hurt him. You really have no idea of what I'm capable of doing. <laughs> I'm not afraid of you either. <sighs> Emma, sweetie, can you let me talk to my sister? Just because you asked me to. <laughs> Did you seriously just call her sweetie? Sister, help me. I don't know how to stay away from her, and I think I'm in love with her. You completely ruined our mission, Ethan! This video game's so funny, I'm the best! <laughs> Who's there? There's no one here. That was so strange. Come on, I'm the best. I'm gonna win! Despite everything, Sam is very cute. <laughs> but who's hiding in my room? Oops, I think he heard what I said. <laughs> Hello, get out of there. <laughs> I actually didn't know all vampires were so bad at hiding, Susie. Sam, I hid here so badly so you could find me very easily. <laughs> yeah, sure, as you wish. Get out of there. Okay, you got me. But would you let me stay with you for a little while? No, you cannot. Get out of here. But why not, Sam? I don't like hanging out with traitors. You chose to become a vampire instead of having a normal life by my side. Sam? What? What if I do this? That's not gonna work. I hate you! <sighs> I don't hate you. I just want things to go back to the way they were before. Sister, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do it the way we planned. Ethan, just remember why we came to this school. I remember. We have to... Shut up. You can't say anything out loud. Remember for how many years we've been dragging this problem within the clan. Yeah, I remember that too. And Emma is a normal girl like all of them. Later you can get another one of those. <sighs> Alright, I'll concentrate. Do not get distracted. Now just go and tell her that your relationship is over. Alright. But what do you think? No, you cannot. Now go and tell her everything I told you. Okay. You can't, Ethan. You can do it. He's an immature child. He's about 700 years old. And he understands nothing about our life. Hear me, you sacred school. Give me the power to defeat the vampires. I beg of you. You have to wait a little longer. I knew it. 
It's almost time. <laughs> Whoa, this place is so strange. This is my humble house. I welcome you, young boy. Thank you, but I'm a little scared to be honest here. That's how a real magician's office looks like. Tell me how our plan is going. Well, first, Susie is always looking for me. With her, I pretend I'm not afraid, but I'm really scared. After all, she's a real vampire, you know? Hmm, that's great. And what about your other friend, Emma? Well, with her it's different. Ethan is very much in love with Emma, and she doesn't want to leave him either. That's some very good news to hear, boy. You have to keep doing what I told you, and you will see the results very soon. Yeah, right. Emma? Emma, are you here? That's weird. My powers told me that Emma was inside this boutique. Ethan, I'm here! And why do you not answer? I was looking for you. <sighs> oh, you can tell me now. Actually, I... What? What happened to your clothes? Um, what's wrong? You don't like them? Um... <sighs> I already knew you would like it. Look at me, now we would even look so much better together. Maybe. Um, why were you looking for me? Were you missing me already? I came to talk to you precisely about... I forgot what I was going to tell you. Has my new outfit left you speechless? Because it's fabulous? Well, I guess that's right. Well, since you've forgotten what you were gonna say, then I'll do the talking. Now all you have to do is bite me. Okay, I don't understand. Where is Ethan? I don't know. And when are we going to eat? I am very hungry. No, it's not the time. First, let's do what's important for us. Hey, girls. I'm already here. How long should we wait for you? I hope you have ended your relationship with Emma. Um, well, yeah. You don't seem sure of what you're saying. I'm just so sad for how it all ended. You did good, brother. We can now move on to the final phase of our master plan. And then we will eat? Then we are going to have a lot of food and also a lot of money. In short, we will have it all. <sighs> so what is the final phase of our plan? Yes, I want to know. Well, listen, I've made a document with everyone's tasks. Here you can see it better. Okay, right now I have to do some of the work before Violetta finds out what I've done regarding Emma. She won't find out. Well, I think I have to mix all this up. Hello there. Oh. Emma, what are you doing here? I was waiting for you, but you haven't even paid attention to me all day. But how did you get in? The door only opens with the secret word of the uh -huh. clan. I already figured it out. You're a really smart girl. Okay, go guard the gate, and I'll be here working. Um, what are you doing now? Don't you need my help? No, that's classified information, and if Violet ever finds out that you were here and helping me... But she will never know. The door is closed. Who's going to get us out of this trouble now? Mm, I'm actually ready to spend the rest of my life blocked with you here. <sighs> Emma... While Susie and Ethan are busy doing what I told them, I'm going to get rid of our big secret on my own. Hmm, what is this loser doing? I'll spy on him a bit. Are you sure it's a good idea to be friends with vampires? I have already told you that this is the main part to defeat them all. What am I gonna do if one of them accidentally bites me? I don't want to become one of them. Don't worry, no one will. But try not to let them know that you're afraid of any of them. Okay, I got it. But are you sure we can kick them out of the school? We'll be able to keep them out, not only from the school, but from the whole planet. I've been planning this for many years now. It's gonna work! So this is your plan? Oh well... Okay, we'll talk later. Bye bye, see you later. Oh no, not again. <laughs> I can smell that he's close. Oh, today it's such a beautiful day. You thought I would never find you, right? Oh, Violetta, what an unpleasant encounter this is. What are you doing in this place? And what the hell do you want from us? The same thing I've always wanted from your vampire clan for many centuries now. 
Well, you will never be able to get it. My plan is in the final phase now. And mine too. You are just one, but vampires are many more. And you are never going to beat us like that. Actually, I have a trust partner who also wants to get rid of all of you. All right, so let's see who's the smartest one. <laughs> yeah, what do you want to do later? <laughs> Ethan, you can't imagine who I just ran into. I don't get it. What's going on here? Little sister, I can't leave Emma. Violetta, I told you before that true love is a very strong feeling and you could never interfere in our relationship. Ethan, is this true? Yes, sister, I decided that I no longer want to be a vampire. Well, you see, I do like being a vampire. I don't think that's a good choice, Susie. And anyway, your idea of inventing a time portal is silly. And I don't care about it. After all, this is where I found my true love. So you wanted to make a time machine and change the history of the whole world? Yes, just imagine getting rid of all the wizards on Earth, so that our clan lives in peace for eternity. <laughs> Your plan has been a huge failure and I have finally won! <laughs> uh, mister, you are wrong. You didn't win. What? Sam, what are you talking about? I have discovered that you actually tried to deceive me. You're a big fool. But how did this happen? <laughs> also, I'm in love with vampire Susie. And I love Ethan. What are you doing? This is a very, very bad idea. You're all making a big mistake. You are pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> and also, we prepared a surprise for you. Now you're also becoming one of us. Uh, no, you wouldn't dare. Get away from me. <laughs> ah! Bite me, bite me. Emma, wake up. Susie? You finally woke up. You've been sleeping all day long. And school lessons are already over. Mm, what time is it? Is it really 4 p.m.? I already told you to stop watching those weird shows about vampires and alternate worlds. Okay, I have to go meet my dear Sam. So it was all a dream? Oh, at least it was nice to have a vampire boyfriend in my dream. Okay, I'll go take a shower and wake up. <laughs> I'm sorry, Emma, but I had to do all this to keep you safe. We have to wait a bit, and then we can be together. Meanwhile, I'll take care of you and your dreams, my dear love. <laughs>